Hello there, so today we are back with some testing and the question on the menu today, because I got it a couple times in my previous damage vids, was anti-armor versus bloodied. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, let's get into things. Hopefully this helps out new players out there, because I know there's quite a few around nowadays, and hopefully it's interesting to the veterans as well, that might have never really gone in depth with this stuff. So starting off to test bloodied, we do need to be bloodied. So bloodied is how we will stay for the anti-armor test as well. Anti-armor does have the benefit of being more versatile. You can go full health, half health, bloodied. Anti-armor will always work for you. But bloodied, of course, needs you to be bloodied. That's the whole point. But which is better was the question. So I'll do a couple of tests, starting things off with commando against level 100 super mutants. And I'll also throw in tankier enemies such as the behemoth. I'll chuck all the results into the tables as well at the end, because in case you want to refer to it later on. And for the build, this is what we will be running nothing that's going to increase our damage over time so no tenderizer or adrenaline or follow through none of those perk cards just some nerd rage tank killer one star in commander perks bloody mess just straight up additive bonuses and some covert op because we will be sneaking but i will put up results for non-stealth as well so don't worry and we'll also take a look at rifleman and heavy gunner but getting into things it's quite interesting on the regular enemies for both the bloodied and anti-armor we are sitting at three shots to take down the level 100 super mutants going for other effects such as vampires we do move up to four shots in case you were interested in that where things get a bit interesting and different is when we go for crit shots and of course the tank air targets but i'll get into that in a moment but for the crit shots as you can see bloody is doing slightly less than the anti-armor so anti-armor actually having the advantage there when you are going for your crit shots so keep that in mind uh, on the bigger targets such as the behemoth also extremely close with very little difference averages out about the same 14 to 15 shots again the crit shot on the anti-armor doing more so if you're including crit shots then you will be doing more damage on the bigger enemies with your know, bigger health bars and more resistance but you could also argue that against bosses does it really matter too much fallout isn't exactly a hard game even a tiny group can get the bosses killed no problem as long as you're doing decent damage you're fine so unless you're a solo boss killer type player and that's what you're striving for and you know minimaxing this is why a lot end up just going complete quality of life builds instead uh, when things were multiplicative and you could absolutely wreck a boss in a few shots with a meat hook those were different days but cards were a lot different then nowadays different story so anti-armor and bloody extremely close anti-armor gets a bit more on the crit shot compared to bloodied and this is stealth but when you're not stealthing then bloodied takes the win and on a non-stealth the crit shots seem to be the same for the commando both on anti-armor and bloodied so i don't know if that's just fallout being fallout or if that's just how commando likes to roll but do keep that in mind and if you found any of this helpful, go over and do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button and stick around for more content like this. But you could also look at this as maybe for your legendary rolls, keep an eye out for bats, crits rolls, for your anti-armor to be paired with, bloodied, maybe look for faster fire rate or explosive. There's tons of great options, but because anti-armor does seem to get a little bit more with those crit shots, and particularly if bats crits being very good on bosses because, you know, it bypasses resistance, it makes sense to pair with anti-armor with uh, crit bonuses. So something to keep in mind. But over to stuff like rifleman and heavy gunner, it's a similar story, extremely close. Heavy Gunner, of course, not exactly something that you use in VATS generally besides stuff like the Plasma Caster. Again, similar story, Anti-Armor getting a bit more on the crit, but Bloodied getting the one-shot kill where Anti-Armor requires the two shots to get the kill. So Bloodied performing a bit better in Heavy Gunner, also with the 50 cal, very close, but Bloodied just ahead ever so slightly. Rifleman, same situation as Commando in Stealth, exactly the same, two shots to kill for both, but out of Stealth, then Bloodied does a bit better. Uh, automatic Melee, Vampires, literally that's all that needs to be said unarmed melee i do like stealth bloodied here so again uh it's, it'll be very similar to anti-armor uh, very good for the crits but i just prefer the bloody option and then if you're not going uh stealth then bloodied will be helping you out a little bit more regular melee always gives me hell with testing because it's only weapons that absolutely rubber band the health bars for me no matter what and i have no idea why so i just avoid it so anyone out there that has better info on that how about anyone in the comments with questions in particular to regular melee or you know just go shredder shredder is love shredder is life but just a quick recap in stealth performing pretty much on par with each other aa getting slightly more on the critical shots uh, out of stealth bloody performing a little bit better uh, both in commando and rifleman and heavy gunner as well so hopefully this helps you out but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then hey, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stick around for more Fallout content. As always, a massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.